The CBI will present in court CNN IBN's interview with another witness to the 1984 riots. Titler says he has sent CDs proving his innocence to the CBI. Relief for Sonia and Modi before counting day in Gujarat. Election Commission lets them off for provocative statements during the poll campaign. And a chilling confession, a man kills and stuffs his wife's body in a suitcase after a domestic fight. to the Simplicity Challenge, India's first talent hunt for innovators. Now, Philips and CNBC TV 18 have come together to reach out to over 300 colleges. We've received 7,000 entries from the length and breadth of the country. The preliminary jury debated hard and long and finally selected 19 stellar ideas, but these 19 ideas were still in the form of written descriptions. Not the greatest way to present an idea to a panel of VCs, entrepreneurs, and industry experts. Enter Flip Design. One of Bangalore's leading multidisciplinary design firms, Flip Design specializes in product, graphic, online and experiential design. Flip Design was brought into the Simplicity Challenge to help our 19 potential Simplicity champions give visual representation to their ideas. Once we saw the projects that came out, the ideas that came out, we were, uh, we were really humbled actually, considering that uh, most of them, probably all of them, uh, haven't had a design background, but some of the ideas that they came out with were really fresh, really interesting. Vinil Ratnakar, Chief Designer at Flip Design, was closely with our 19 candidates to help them articulate their ideas in the form of 3D imagery. These 3D images were made by the students at the Arena Animation Academy in Mumbai. From written descriptions to pencil sketches to glossy computer models. Slowly but surely, all 19 ideas were beginning to come to life. Actually converting all those fresh ideas into you know, working models and to actually get them aesthetically looking good and serving the purpose of what the product is, that was like a wonderful challenge. It's been said that great ideas are usually killed by bad presentations. And after all, our 19 finalists were going to be presenting to a panel comprising of some of the toughest idea critics in the business today. To help our candidates sharpen their presentation skills, they were put through a one-day business plan workshop with Rajiv Thakkar, CFO Optimix, and a one-day public speaking session with corporate trainer, Vaishnavi Vishwanathan. One of those will become India's simplicity champion and win himself or herself a prize of 1.5 million rupees and a chance to convert his or her idea into reality. To help us make that decision, we have a very eminent jury panel here today. Let me introduce them. We have Alok Kejriwal, he's the founder and CEO of Games to Win. We have Priti Vyas Gyaneti, chairwoman and chief creative officer, Vyas Gyaneti Creative, Mr. Padman Ji Nambiar, managing director of G Thermometrics India. G Ananta Padmanabhan, he's the executive director of Greenpeace in India. And we have Rajiv Soni, managing partner, NV Advisory Services Private Limited. Technical jury, we have three very eminent academics. We have Girish Kumar, he's the chairman of uh, Wilcom Technologies and he's a professor of electrical engineering at IIT Bombay. We have Professor Pradyum Navyas, he's the principal designer, he's the activity chairperson for education and he's the mentor for transportation and automobile design at the National Institute of Design in Ahmedabad. We also have Ms. Ashwini Kunte, the vice principal of Tadomal Shahani Engineering Colleges. Jurors, today 19 bright young professionals, the creme de la creme of India's innovators, will present their ideas to you. Your job, and a very difficult job if I may say, is to rate them on the quality of their innovation. You will be rating them on the simplicity quotient. Is the idea simple? You will be rating the idea on business sense. You will be rating them on consumer centricity. You will also be rating them on presentation skills, how impressive they are in presenting their ideas to you. There are five parameters that we will be asking these candidates. Is the idea designed around people? Is the idea easy to understand and to experience? Is the idea original? Does the idea make business sense? And lastly, is the idea sustainable from both a business and an environmental point of view? With that, it's time to call our first candidate for the day. Paritosh Kumar Sharma from New Delhi. Can we have you on the stage, please? Hi, right, Paritosh. Yes. 1.5 million rupees at stake. Yeah. Are you worried? Uh, not, not really. Okay, Paritosh, your time starts now. 
what I am doing is I am using a parabolic reflector to reflect the sunlight on the upside down place solar cell and I am using a motorized controller to produce maximum energy. With this the cost of power produced will be equal to that of a power produced by thermal power. Apart from this what I want to say is that the cost of fossil fuels are increasing. So in the future the cost of power produced by conventional source is going to only increase. On the other hand because of the technological innovations and advancements going on in solar cell technology and other technologies the cost of power produced by these things will only decrease in the future. With my idea, the average power produced will be 0.73 kilowatt. The power has been increased by two by a factor of 2.53, and that comes out to be 0.11 US dollar per kilowatt. That is equal to 4.50 rupees per kilowatt hour. So I think in the future definitely we will be using such technologies, such products for producing power. Okay, Paritosh. Yeah. Let's see what the judges have to say. Alok, your first thoughts on the idea. Question is, uh, is it unique? And you know, is it something that someone has not thought about? Yes. And even if it is, the, the big challenge is how will you keep it unique? You might have seen some part of it used at some other different places, but the whole idea is unique. Rajiv, would you put your money on the idea? On the simplicity side, maybe, but I'm more concerned about the financial viability. The basic problem is when you look at the 30 cents per kilowatt as yes. the cost, yes. that includes not just the operating cost, but also the capital cost. In your calculation, what if you assume for the capital cost? Cost of your parabolic reflector. See, whenever so we, that will have a large impact on the on your. No, no. Whenever we produce any thermal power station, first of all we invest lots of lot of money, yes. and then we start producing the power. The investment is going to be slightly more, but the cost of the power will be some near way, somewhere near around that thing. You need to add your capital cost of your reflector. And if that has a significant impact, you may not be saving any cost at all. I think your idea is very good. It's a, a business uh, idea that will work. However, it's been done before. So don't get, uh, don't get uh, any, uh, any illusion that this hasn't been done before. It's called, uh, uh, it's it's called heliostat concentrators. They do exist. And Professor Girish Kumar, what do you think of it now? It's not a unique idea, but yes. it is a great idea for our country. Right, so you have two supporters in the jury. Thank you, Paritosh. Yeah, thank thank you. you very much. Yes, yes. Judges, I'm going to ask you to score Paritosh. Our next candidate is from Manipal. May I call to the podium, Joyan J. Lewis. Hi, Joyan. 1.5 million rupees. Does it make you feel nervous? No. Join your time starts now. I'm going to focus on the specific Wi-Fi security systems. Here is a simple security which is completely wireless, developed by me. It is a working concept. Uh, it is a simple model where at the home you'll place a security kit and you can carry a receiver with you which determines whatever uh, errors take place in your house will be transmitted to you and you'll get a wireless siren. It is a very cost-effective product and my ba basic idea...